Your job is moving you across the country and your first day is in a month. The great news is you're getting a promotion and a big raise. The overwhelming bit is that you have an established homestead where you are now. How do you move to another state? How do you get the house ready, marketed and closed and find a new home in your new city and time that closing so you can simply move from one house to the other? Hi, I'm Teresa Zek, real estate agent in Phoenix, Arizona with AZ and Associates Real Estate Group. I'm Teresa Holmes, AZ. The first call you should make is to a local agent that can advise you on things to get your market ready ASAP. They can refer you to a handyman, cleaning people, and other professionals to help you get things done pronto so your home can be listed quickly. Since we belong to a nationwide group of elite agents with specialized training, we can even refer our clients to a fabulous agent in their new area. The time before you get to contract should be used to talk with your agent in your new location and start looking at some new houses online so you can get familiar with the market. If you need funds from the sale of this home to buy the next one, figure 30 to 45 days from when the contract is signed until closing. This gives you a window to shop for a home in your new location. Once you have a contract on your existing property, your position is a little bit stronger than when making an offer contingent on the sale of your current home. Now in today's strong seller's market, it's very challenging. Depending on the market and the new place, the seller may or may not accept a contingency contract. If you can comfortably tackle two, may two payments financially, you can go ahead and buy the new place and move in even if the old house hasn't sold. But if you do need the cash, there are ways to work around this timing issues. You can do a seller lease back. This is where you close on the property, but lease it back from the buyer for a few months till you find another home in your new location. It's typically the payment of what the buyer's mortgage is per month. Extending the closing date is another one that may help as well. If a buyer doesn't come fast enough, you may find a short-term rental until the old house sells and you close on the new one. Another great idea is to rent for six months or a year in the new area to get familiar with it and decide where you wanna live. That's something we did when we moved here. We rented for about six months so we got to know the area to be sure where we wanted to buy. There's lots of ins and outs of anything that can happen when you're buying and selling real estate. An experienced agent can help you navigate the whole process with ease. Click on the link below for a copy of my moving checklist. It will help keep you organized and on task. I'm always available to talk things through and very happy to help relieve some stress for you, so just give me a call. Again, my name is Teresa. I'm with AZ and Associates Real Estate. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Live, love, life in Phoenix, and have a great day.